Welcome back to Salty Tales. Today is a special day, guys. Today we have our nephew here with us. So we're making something amazing. He loves ribs, so we're making a comparison between pork ribs and beef ribs. And let's see what he likes the best. What do you think it's going to be? I'm thinking it's going to be beef. It's going to be the beef, huh? I think it's the same thing, I've so had it. there's only one way to know, guys. Let's go. And the hero is here. Look at these beauties, guys. I got these ribs from a butcher shop next to my office and they are looking pretty good. We have some marbling going on in there, we have some nice fat cap and all we're going to do is we're going to clean it up a little bit. We're going to get rid of all these flappy things. And here it is guys, clean and ready. Now I'm going to put a little bit of oil on it just to hold the spices up and then I'm going to put some black pepper and some grilling salt. That's all I'm going to use for these ribs and as you can see it's going to look beautiful. And as an advice, I will tell you to make sure that that rub goes everywhere, in every little hole within the meat. And that's all you need. Now let's get ready for the baby back ribs. And for the pork ribs, we have these two beautiful baby back ribs that I just got on the store. They are looking amazing, they are looking beautiful. Look how much meat is in there. The only thing that we have to take care of here is going to be to remove the membrane. And to remove that membrane is really easy guys, all you have to do is get a spoon, put it right on top of the bone and try to poke that membrane off. Once you have it a little bit off, grab it with some paper towel or paper tissue, whatever you have in hand and pull it. It's gonna come out and it's gonna come out nice. If it breaks, just do it again, that's not a big deal. So now we have these two babies ready to go, let's put a wrap on it. If you've seen my previous videos, you know that I like to put honey on the pork and it goes really well with it. The pork is a little sweet, the meat is a little sweet, and that honey goes really well with it. And remember, all we're doing with this honey is just put it in there, not expecting much from it, it's only to hold the spices. And if you want to learn a little bit about my rub, I'm going to put the whole recipe on the description of the video. So check it out, and I'm telling you, you will never regret it. Now the trick is just to make sure that that rub goes everywhere and make it look really nice, that's it. With all these things done, the only thing we have left to do is to light up the grill, guys. And to work with this grill is really easy, guys. All you have to do is turn it on and crank that temperature all the way up. Leave it in there for about 20 minutes so it gets heated up really well. And that's pretty much it. After that, we're just going to reestablish the temperature to 280, 275. And then we're going to start adding all our ribs in there. That's it, it's easy, it's like dialing a radio, it's nothing complicated about it and it worked by itself. It's awesome, highly recommended. Right, let's put our baby back ribs in here. One of the things I always make sure I do when I put the ribs on the grill is to try to squeeze them a little bit so those bones get really straight and it's gonna make it look really, really nice and it's also gonna be a lot easier to cut. And of course, we're gonna put our beef ribs in there too, guys. That's pretty much it, that's the whole setup. Let's see what happens. This is only apple juice, guys. In any bottle, it doesn't really matter. Just put a little bit on it. And as you can see, those bones, they start already popping up. It's looking good, guys. Woo, baby, I'm excited. All right, it's time to prepare our marinade for the baby back ribs. And this is gonna be fairly easy, guys. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some brown sugar on this. I'm gonna add some pepper on it. I'm gonna put some grilling salt and I'm gonna put a lot of apple juice, a lot. Don't worry too much about it. Mix them really well, make sure that everything gets really well mixed in there. And that's it, that's all you have to worry about. Now let's go and get those pork ribs in here. It's been three hours already and they're ready to marinate. And again, guys, this is really easy. I'm just gonna put my baby back ribs here on the aluminum foil. With the bones up, I'm gonna add my marinade on it and I'm gonna wrap them into the aluminum foil. That's all we need. I'm just gonna put a little bit of sugar everywhere, make sure that liquid doesn't go anywhere, wrap it up, put it back in the grill. 
and always 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 double wrap your ribs guys you don't know when one of those bones is going to poke out and let all that juice go away once they are wrapped already just put them back on the grill same temperature same thing same everything leave it in there we're going to leave it in there for about two hours of course i'm going to put some more apple juice on those beef ribs look how they're looking already And two hours has passed by already guys. Let's open this wrap and let's look at them. Oh my goodness, they are looking so beautiful. As you can see, they are almost done, but we have one more hour left on the grill. And let's put some apple juice on these beef ribs. Let's test them up. They are looking really soft and almost ready. So in an hour, everything is gonna be ready to go. And yes, an hour passed by already and we are getting these babies out of the grill. Look at them, man. They're looking good. And I want you to take a look at the colors on these baby back ribs. This is looking amazing, guys. This is going to be a good one. So keep tuned, man. This is going to be good. It's time to give it a good try. We're gonna start with the beef ribs. Let's see what you guys think about it. Yeah, let's go ahead and try, guys. Oh my god, it's first of all, this is so soft. Mm -hmm. It's really good, it's really soft. And pre juice here on the center, too. So it's beefy. Oh, nice. You know what? The crust, the crust in the outside is amazing, and it's really beefy, really soft, and really juicy. I love him. You did an awesome job, honey. Delicious. Delicious? Yes. My first time, as I told you before, it is excellent. Excellent? Yes. You like it better than the other ones? No, I like <laughs> it. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and they're delicious. Really soft. They just come right off the bone as soon as you bite them. So I could eat these all day. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I had to switch back and say the pork did it for me instead of the beef. Really? Oh! Oh, you know the sweetness of this. Oh my God! It's it, it's delicious, delicious. Look at this. Look at the colors on that. Thing. Look at the color, the crust. Look at this. I didn't like this, but this is really, really great. So you didn't like pork ribs before? No. So you're gonna <laughs> switch to? I'm always being, I've been a fan of four ribs instead of the other one, but I keep liking this better. All right, guys, so who do you think is the winner? Pork. Um, pork. 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 And pork. Come on, Giselle. <laughs> you say you didn't like pork before. What happened? She <laughs> loved them. Yes. So you like the Ninja Rob, huh? Yeah. The spices and everything in there is awesome. Oh my God! Hey guys, you have to get that recipe. It's excellent. It's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. As you can see, these guys are crazy with the pork ribs. Super. I haven't tried it yet, but I seen those beef ribs, and they look really, really juicy inside okay. and amazing. I don't know if I wouldn't do the test backwards. Maybe they like the beef better, but it's, it is what it is right now. The results are the baby bar ribs are winning and that's what it is so that's it for today guys if you like the video please hit us with a like like likes likes yes. subscribe my <laughs> friends <laughs> and if you have anything to say guys any comment anything you want to add into this please put it down there in the comments yes that's all for today and remember that i love you